The Free Orchestra is a free and awesome set of cinematic samples from Project Sam's professional contact libraries. String staccatos, heroic horns, luminous choirs and dystopian drones, all for free. My name is Martin of Project Sam and in this video I will guide you through the installation process of the Free Orchestra. It's pretty straightforward, but it does involve two additional pieces of software. The Free Orchestra, or TFO, is not a plugin of itself. It is a sample library that can be loaded into a sampler called Contact. Contact is an application by Native Instruments, and TFO comes with a license to use the free version of Contact, Contact Player, which means you don't have to purchase any additional software to use these orchestral sounds. To install the Free Orchestra, you need a serial number. This number you will get from us, Project Sam. However, the library content, as well as the contact application, you will download from Native Instruments. An account is needed with both parties. There are two volumes of the Free Orchestra. The Free Orchestra 1 is a complete finished library, featuring 14 inspiring cinematic instruments. The Free Orchestra 2 is a library that, at the time of this video, is still growing, with a new free instrument added each month until July 2024. These are separate contact libraries, each with a unique serial number that needs to be registered in native access. Let's get started. First, you need to obtain your serial number for the Free Orchestra. You can get one from the Project Sam website. If you don't have an account with us yet, it's time to make one. Click the account icon in the top right corner and then register here. All you need to fill in is a name, email address and password. And if you want, you can opt in to receive our newsletter to stay up to date about new libraries, product updates and sales. Now click on the Free Orchestra in the top navigation of the website, which will bring you to the TFO landing page. Here you can choose which volume you're interested in. I'm going for the new TFO2 in this video. Click Get Now. Last step is to agree with the license agreement for the Free Orchestra. Do read it, but the two takeaway points are these. You are allowed to use the Free Orchestra in commercial projects, which is cool, but you're not allowed to redistribute or sell the Free Orchestra or the sounds inside. And there, you now have a license for the Free Orchestra. And you're automatically taken to our installation page, which takes you through the remaining steps. I will also go over them in this video. Just so you know, your serial number is also listed on this page, right here. You'll need it later. So, if you are already using other contact libraries, you will most likely know what to do. You can copy paste this serial number into the Native Access app and the Free Orchestra can then be downloaded and installed from there. If, however, the Free Orchestra is your very first library for contact, a few extra steps are needed first. As I mentioned earlier, the Free Orchestra is a sample library that runs inside the contact sampler. So you need to download and install Contact. And this is done from Native Instruments software hub called Native Axis. So let's get that. You can get it at the Native Instruments website. But we have also provided links for Intel Mac, Apple Silicon and Windows right here at the top of this page. Download the version that is right for you, run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions. They are pretty straightforward. Now let's start the Native Access application. As I mentioned earlier, you need an account with both us, Project Sam, which you now already have, and with Native Instruments as well, who provides the software and the download. These are two different accounts. If the Free Orchestra is your first contact library, you probably don't have a Native Instruments account yet. In this case, now is the time to create one. We're now logged into Native Access and right away we see the option to install Contact Player, the free version of Contact that you can use with your Free Orchestra license. Let's click Install. 
When Contact has finished installing, it's time to add the free orchestra to Native Access using your serial number. Copy it over at the website, click Add Serial in Native Access, paste it and click Enter. The free orchestra is now listed. Click Install and the library will download, install and activate. That's it. Let's take a quick look. Let me open the standalone version of Contact. And that's the free orchestra right there. Let's load it up. There you go. This is the application, not the plugin of Contact. So here you can play the library, but you can't really record anything. To do that, load up your favorite sequencer, Studio One in this case, add an instrument track and select Contact. You can now load the free orchestra in here, record and playback. If it's the free orchestra 2 that you just installed, it's worth noting that the additional monthly instruments are made available through updates in Native Access. This means that once you have installed and registered the Free Orchestra 2, you don't have to go back to our website to get the new instruments. You can just go directly to Native Access and update from there. As a last tip, I would like to suggest watching our 12-minute walkthrough video of the library itself. It will guide you through the different controls, features and sounds. I will link to this video in the description, but you can also find it on the free orchestra product page right here. Thank you for watching this video. I wish you happy composing. Bye bye.